It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 2nd of September. I'm James Spann. A very dry air mass dropping in here today. That's going to set the stage for nice weather through at least the beginning of the Labor Day weekend. Here we go. This is the upper air look. We have a northerly flow aloft here on the backside of the remnants of Ida, which stirred up a huge fuss up in the Northeast United States last night with major flooding in New York City and Boston. The good news, the rain has ended in New York City. It's ending now in Boston as the circulation moves away from the region. And, of course, down here, it's a clean sweep on radar for the most part. Temperatures are in the 60s and low 70s. Aniana down to 62. We're expecting highs in the mid-80s in most spots today. And the dew points come way down. It's going to be not as humid as recent days. It'll feel pretty good. There's the watch warning map, still flash flood warnings effect around Boston. And again, that rain is winding down up in the northeast. Heat advisories west of the state for parts of the Arklatex region, back over to Dallas. Severe weather, a possibility today out across the heartland. There's tomorrow and day three Sunday. No organized severe weather expected at that point. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Across the country, the west stays dry. For Alabama, the amount's generally under one half inch. And again, there could be a few showers around by maybe Sunday night or Monday of next week, but uh, certainly not too much, nothing too widespread or heavy. In the tropics, a couple of features on the board. We've got Larry, which is now a hurricane. And we've got Invest 91L that's sitting on the coast of Central America. Uh, first off, Larry will become a major hurricane, most likely by tomorrow afternoon, but then it gains latitude. It's going to miss the Lesser Antilles, and this sucker is going to recurve, thankfully, well east of the United States. So Invest 91L, uh, this thing is going to be interacting, obviously, with Central America. It's on the coast now. Will it survive? We don't know. Maybe not. This is the ATCF set. It's got a big journey across Central America and Mexico and uh, uh, the GFS suggesting, no, this thing won't survive. But as always, we'll keep an eye on that. If anything can survive and reach the Bay of Campeche, of course, things get more interesting then. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06 c run, valid today at 4. Again, we got that northerly flow aloft and a beautiful day today. Sunny, less humid, highs mid-80s. Tomorrow, temperatures well down in the 60s. Might see some upper 50s in the cooler pockets. The day will be mostly sunny, the high in the upper 80s. Saturday, kicking off a holiday weekend, Labor Day weekend, sunny, highs 87 to 90. And Sunday looks dry. The day, based on the GFS, again, uh, the high 87 to 90, lots of sunshine. We note a disturbance north of the state. This is the European valid Sunday afternoon. Again, it's got those showers maybe creeping into northwest Alabama, but we could see a few showers Sunday night. And then Monday, that feature continues to drop south and the chance of scattered showers. But again, we stress nothing widespread. We'll have a mixture of clouds and sunshine, the high Monday, upper 80s. Tuesday, enough moisture again for a few scattered showers. Same thing Wednesday. We stress nothing widespread here. Highs, uh, again, upper 80s. And uh, we'll go out a week from today. This is Thursday the 9th. Again, we have a northwest flow aloft, and it looks pretty dry. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday, 9-11. Same pattern. We have a northwest flow aloft here. And evidence. there could be a little tropical low around Houston and the European not really showing a closed low, but again, some deeper tropical moisture moving in at that point. So as always, that's the climatological peak of the season. So we always have to watch the Gulf waters carefully this time of the year. And you can see a lot of uncertainty in the European ensemble in terms of rain here through mid-month. Uh, some of the members go up to about six inches, but the mean between one and two inches Temperature is highs mostly in the upper 80s, lows mostly in the 60s on through September the 12th. And the CPC outlook, this is for September 9th through September 15th. Temperatures here pretty close to average if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day, teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms and tornadoes.
To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, be prepared, not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook. Dot com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared. Get your kids a copy today.